So guys, to a power so we come by balance the following chemical equations. So we have to balance this one, which is from uh, Roman number one up to Roman number number five. So now to nenda kwenye solutions. Lakini kuna important note ambazo na bidu zizingatia sana wakati una, una balance equations. So siku zote anza ku balance meto. Ukiona meto zimeisha, balance nani meto. Isn't it tricks? Eh? Sio kwamba ni ndio official way. No, ni tricks ambazo zita kusaidia sana wakati na balance. Then after balance hydrogen. Kuna mtu mungina naza kusema, oh, kwani hydrogen is not an animator or it is not a metal. Ndiyo mwani kasema, hii ni trick. Actually, hydrogen anasifa za kuwa group 1, also pia anasifa za kuwa kwenye upande wa nani metal, which is group 7. Eh? Then after, mwisho kabisa, balance oxygen. Ukifuata ya mashalti hapa, basi hamna swayo lote la kubalance ambalo lita kushinda. So, hizi ni trick zangu ambazo zina nisaidia kwenye kubalance. So, I advise you to follow uh, his uh, tricks ili pia uweze kusolve maswali yako vizuri. So now start by equation number 1 which is sodium plus uh, chlorine to form sodium chloride. So nikianza ku balance nitaanza kuangalia meto. Kwenye hii swali langu meto nini? Ni sodium. Kwa hiyo nitaanza na sodium kwanza ku balance kabla sijaanza ku balance chlorine. So at reactant side nina 1 sodium. At product side it is 1 sodium. Kwa hiyo sodium zime balance. Then after naenda kwenye chlorine. Eh? At reactant side nina 2 chlorine. At product side nina 1 chlorine. So guys, huku imepelea 1 chlorine. Usijio kaiongezea hapa chini. Hatu balance kwa kuadi namba kwenye uh, subscript ya compound flani. No. Kwa sabu ukifanya hivo, utachange identity ya hiyo compound. Imagine hii. Hii sabi siyo sodium chloride. Ni kitu kingine kabisa ambacho uh, umekitengeneza hapo. So, usijo ka balance kwa kuweka hapa chini. We always tuna balance kwa kuweka uh, number in front of the compound. Eh? Kwenye sabu hapa nisasomu tuwa kukwandikia 2 bracket sodium chloride. Lakini huko nye kemi sisa tuweki bracket. Lakini kishaweka hapa mbili manake ita affect hapa pote. Now it is 2 sodium, 2 chlorine, 2 chlorine, 2 sodium, 1 sodium. Kwa hiyo pia hapa nitaweka 2. Kwa hiyo equation yangu itukwa me balance in that way. So make sure unafata hizi trick hapa. Then we have question number 2. It is a reaction between hydrogen and uh, iodine. Hmm? Or iodide to form hydrogen iodide. So unakuja tukunye mtildi kwa kwa hapa eh. I, I, iodine or iodide, it is a nani metal kwa tanza na iodide kabla ya hydrogen. So here you have uh, one, you have two, we have two, here it is one, hatuwezi tukweka hapa mbili, tutueka hapa in front. So then after we have two, iodide, even here it is two, then it is two hydrogen, lakini pia ukuni two hydrogen. So isha balance. Then after unangalia number three. Huh? Number three, it is the reaction between zinc and the copper two sulfate to form zinc sulfate and the copper. Always you transfer a metal. Zinc it is a metal. Kwa hiyo one zinc, one zinc in balance. Also we have copper which is a metal. One copper, one copper in balance. Then after for nine metal it is sulfur. One sulfur, one sulfur in balance. Then after it is four oxygen, four oxygen in balance. Kwa hiyo kumbe, sio kila reaction utaiongezea namba. Eh? Sio kila reaction utaibalance uta kwa namba. Zingine zinakuwa zimesha balance automatic. Eh? Then after, let's, let's see Romani number 4. It is a reaction between hydrogen plus oxygen to form water. So, anokuja kwenye hizi hinti sako hapa. Kwa mba utanza na meto, ujiona meto yote hapa, utanza na nani meto, nani meto. Actually, oxygen ni nani meto, lakini yenye huwe na kuwa utaibalance baada ya kubalance hydrogen. You see? So, taanza na hydrogen. Two hydrogen, two hydrogen, balanced. Then at reactant side, two oxygen, one oxygen. Kwa ukisima ubalance kwa kuweka hapa chini, hii compound now it is not water. Umuwa na inaitu hydrogen peroxide. Kwa ustio ka balance kwa kuweka hapa chini. Utueka in front of the compound. So, now it is two oxygen, two oxygen. 2 times 2 ina kwani 4 hydrogen, hapa kuna 2 hydrogen, kwa hiyo pia na hapa utueka 2. So now it is 4 hydrogen, 4 hydrogen, 2 oxygen, 2 oxygen, imebalance. You see? 
Then after tuweze kumalizia swali la mwisho eh? It is a reaction between um, potassium hydroxide and iron 3 chloride eh? to form salt of potassium chloride and iron 3 oxide. So tunakuja kwenye hizi hinti zetu. Tutaanza na metal. Metal is like potassium and iron. So it is one potassium, one potassium ime balance. Then after tutaenda kwenye ions. So una iron one, iron one pia is iron is ime balance. Unaenda kwenye nani metal which is like chlorine. Kwenye reactant side una three chlorine, kwenye product side una one chlorine. So huwezi kuweka hapa chini. Mwisho wa siku hiyo namba utaiweka in front. So now utakuwa na 3 chlorine 3 chlorine. Lakini hii 3 pia ime affect potassium. So now we have 3 potassium lakini huko na 1 potassium. Kwa hiyo utaweka 3. So potassium zimesha kasa lakini pia chlorine zimekaa sawa. Then after umebakisha oxygen pamoja na hydrogen. Unaambiwa anza na hydrogen kwanza. So hapo ziko hydrogen zipo tatu. Lakini pia hapa hydrogen zipo zipo tatu so zime balance. Oxygen zipo tatu lakini pia kwa oxygen zipo zipo tatu. So hivyo ndivyo ambavyo ungeweza kubalance hilo swali swali la mwisho. So guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe usisahau kuweka comment hapo lakini pia zaidi usisahau kuweza kushare video hizi kwa watu wengi zaidi ili na wao wapate kumfaika kupitia video zetu za science HQ HQ. So, hii ni episode number 3 kwenye maswali yetu ya chemical equations. Na nimesha kwambia kwamba kila video ina concept yake tofauti. So, make sure unafatilia video his ili uweze kupata concept mbali mbali za maswali ambayo tunatoa. So, thank you so much and I invite you to watch my coming videos.